So continuing from converting from base 10 to a different base, we do have a method. And the method is really just exactly what we just reviewed in the last video. We, in order to convert from base 10 to base B, we need to look at the base and we need to look at the base 10 number. And we need to find that first divisor, right? The largest power of the base that can go into the base 10 number. And so we're looking for that first divisor to begin our process. And recall that, that after, fi after finding the base with the largest power that goes into the base 10 number, we then can build our table in which um, provides the place value all the way from that largest place value that we can start our division process all the way to the ones place. So there may be times where we don't have anything in between certain place values and that's where we have to put zeros in. So it's really important that we understand the number of place values that we have and that there has to be a digit for every corresponding place value. In this um, step process here is exactly what I just went over. So you identify the base B and you find the highest power that will divide into the base 10 number at least once. And then write down that whole number part, use the remainder from the division to the next step. So we did that. And that next, that remainder goes into the next place value to the right, working our day, working our way down to the ones place. So um, we have to include zero if the remainder doesn't go into the next place value, but we keep you trying until we find one of the place values in which that remainder goes into. And then as soon as we get a remainder of zero, then that would be the ones place. Okay, so now let's try the process once again. So now let's convert 65,710, that's a base 10 number, and write it into a base 4 number. The reason why I know this is a base 10 number is because there's no subscript. Recall that if there's no implication of what base we're counting in and there's no subscript to the bottom right, then we assume that this number is base 10. So we want to take this base 10 and go to a base 4 number. So the first question we always want to ask is what is the largest power of the base four that divides into um, the base 10 number, 65,710. Okay, so this is a pretty large number, so we're going to have to run through some powers of 4 here. So I, I definitely know maybe 4 squared, you know, that's 16, so that's too small. So let's try 4 cubed, which is 64. That's still too small. I need like, I need bigger, right? So let's try 4 to the 4th and 4 to the 5th. Let's see what that takes me. So if I go to the calculator here... I'll do 4 to the 3rd, um, which is 64, so 4 to the 4th is 256, and then 4 to the 5th, and that's 1024. So I do see that 1024 does go into this 65,710, but it's still really small. So let me go up to 4 to the 6 and see if I can get closer to that base 10 number. So I'll go 4 to the 6. It's 4,096. So I feel like I'm getting closer, but I need to make sure um, and see what 4 to the 7th is. And that is 16,000. 384. So now I see that I'm getting close to this number that I can divide into 65,710. But you know what? I want to get closer. So let me try 4 to the 8th. Because it could be 4 to the 7th is the closest we're going to get to that number. But maybe let's try 4 to the 8th. And 
and this is 65,536. So that is going to be really close to this, right? One factor of 48th is going to go into that. Now, if I did 4 to the 9th, I just want to reemphasize that it's going to be too large, right? 262,000 exceeds well over 65. So we definitely won't use 4 to the 9th. 4 to the 8th will be the largest power, a 4 fourth to the eighth power um, that divides into 65,710. So what this means is that the largest power of four that divides into 65,710 is going to be eight. So what does this mean? Well, look here at our table. Here is place value and here is the digits. All right, so we'll start at four to the eighth for the place value, and we'll work our way down to the ones place. So you're gonna have four to the eighth, four to the seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, cubed, squared, one, and then the ones place. Okay, so if I drew little barriers here, you'll see that we will need digits for every single place value. So here, here, so how many digits should we expect? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no matter what, my ending base four number has to have nine digits in it. And even if there's zeros in between, those are so, still significant digits. So like $300 versus $3, those two zeros at the end of 300 make a big difference. They're significant, right? So um, these digits in between will also be, it seems like a lot, but it works out really nicely because four to the eighth is such a large number that it'll fit in really nicely into the base 10 number. So now we can do is start the process. So part two is go ahead and, and start the division process. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is take four to the eighth and put it into 65,710. Now recall that um, this place value here it corresponds to the place value in our chart. And let me try to do that in yeah, yeah. And then whatever division we get here as the quotient, that goes here. Now we can see that four to the eighth is 65,536. So we know it's going to go into once. Right, and then 4 to the 8th times 1 is 65,536. Now you could do this in the calculator by clearing it out and just saying, okay, well, what is 65,710 divided by 4 to the 8th? So you could just literally put 4 to the 8th just like this in the calculator and hit enter. And notice it gives you a whole part of one. Don't worry about the remainder part. We'll deal with the remainder part in our division. But you see that whole part one, that's where this one comes from. Okay. And then we can subtract um, as usual. So if you wanted to subtract 65,710 and 65,536, I get 174. So that's my remainder is 174. Okay, so now um, this remainder is now going to be the divisor in my next place value, which is 4 to the 7th. So eventually I'm going to work myself all the way down to the 1s. So now I would say 4 to the 7th, because that's the next place value down. Well, 4 to the 7th, remember that is 16,000. So does 16,000 even go into this? No way. So how many times does 4 to the 7th go into 174? Well, that's right, 0, right? So this, again, this digit corresponds to the 4 to the 7th place value. So that will be 0. 
Well, let's go ahead and keep going. So this means I go to the next place value, 4 to the 6th. And then I put that number that didn't go into anything as the um, as the dividend. And once again, what, however many times 4 to the 6 goes into that, that's going to be the digit that corresponds to the place value 4 to the 6. So here, um, I know that 4 to the 6 is 4096. And so 4096 does not go into 174, right? It's too big. So you guessed it, one, a zero again. So notice we're getting a bunch of zeros. And some of you may already see, like, well, just skip down to where it can go into. Like, uh, Darlene, I can see it's not going to go into it until we get to 4 to the 3rd. And I would be like, you're absolutely right, because 4 to the 4th is still much larger than 174. So what is that? What happens in between here and 4 cubed that goes into 174? Well, we have 4 to the 5th and 4 to the 4th. And if I try to put them through, okay, we would get the same thing. So the next plus place value, 4 to the 5th, would still have a zero because 4 to the 5th is 1024 which is still too big for this remainder so we'll go ahead and put zero and same thing with 4 to the 4th 4 to the 4th in the next place value. I'm working my way over to the ones right so once again whatever quotient is here is going to be um, corresponding to the place a digit for the place value 4 to the 4th well, 4 to the 4th, I still see is 256. 256 is still larger than 174. So I don't have any whole number that goes into there. So it's, again, 0. Now I finally get to 4 cubed. And 4 cubed corresponds to the is a place value in which this quotient will correspond to. Now, if I go over here and look at 4 cubed, 4 cubed is 64. How many times does 64 go into 174? Well, if you don't know, that's OK. So we'll just do 64 in the calculator and divide it by 4 cubed. And notice we don't even need to know what 4 cubed is. We could just put 4 cubed. And so we see that. Um, oh, we can put, go ahead. We can go ahead and put 174 divided by 4 cubed. And notice that there is some remainder, but the whole part is 2. So um, 4 cubed can go only into 174 twice, right, with some remainder. Don't worry about the remainder. We'll get the remainder in a minute, but we see the whole part 2. So let me go ahead and write 2 here. And I'll put 2 here. And so finishing this, 2 times 4 cubed, which is 128. And now we can subtract. And so um, if we just subtract like we usually would, we would get 46. OK, so 46 is our remainder. And we're going to go ahead and put it here into the next plus place value over which is 4 squared. And recall that whatever um, quotient I get under 4 squared, that place value, that digit belongs in that 4 squared place value. So here's 46. And so 4 squared is 16. And 16 goes into 46. Um, th uh, twice. Oops, red. All right, so here's twice. And then let me finish and get a remainder. So 2 times 4 squared is 32. And let's subtract. And therefore, I get 6 minus 2 is 4, and 4 minus 3 is 1. And now I work towards the next place value over, which is 4 to the first. So I get 4 to the 1st divided into the remainder that I have here.
4 to the first goes into 14 um, three times. And I put 3 here in the digit area of the place value. And now I can go ahead and find a remainder. 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Now 2 is our remainder. And I can go ahead and put in the next place value. But the next place value is 4 to the 0, which is 1. Right, so it's a little redundant to have to do this because we already automatically know that it, the answer is going to be this remainder 2. Because 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So it all works out. Notice that every single digit in 9 of these place values is taken. So the zeros are not disregarded. They're significant digits to base 4. And in fact, we get a base 4 number of um, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 3, 2 in base 4.